This animation illustrates the use of a two-hinge system to absorb the major thermal expansions in a single-plane Z-bend. Since the pressure thrust is absorbed by the hinges on the expansion joints, only intermediate anchors are required at each end of the piping system. The thermal expansion of the offset section containing the expansion joints must be absorbed by bending of the piping legs perpendicular to that segment. Since the expansion joints are restricted to pure angular rotation by their hinges and cannot extend or compress. The amount of bending deflection imposed on each of the two long piping legs may be controlled by proper design of guides and supports. Where one long leg is sufficiently flexible to absorb the full thermal growth of the offset leg, the other long leg may be controlled to permit longitudinal movement only. The planar guides shown at the ends of the long piping runs near the elbows are intended to maintain the plane of the piping system only and must allow for the bending deflections of the long piping legs. In calculating guide clearances, consideration shall be given to the fact that the thermal expansion of the offset piping leg containing the expansion joints will be partially offset by the reduction in length resulting from the displacement of the center pipe section. The latter effect may be neglected only where the distance between the hinge pins is very large and the lateral displacement is small. This effect can be minimized by cold springing the expansion joints 50% of the full rated deflection. Because of the ability of the hinges to transmit loads, support of a hinged piping system can be frequently simplified. Assuming this animation is an elevation view and that the upper piping leg is sufficiently flexible to absorb the total expansion of the vertical leg, it would be possible to use sliding supports on the lower horizontal run to support its weight and restrict it to longitudinal movement only. By utilizing the rigidity of the hinges, a substantial portion of the weight of the upper horizontal leg may also be carried on these lower supports. It should be noted that the sliding supports nearest the vertical leg must be designed to resist the force required to deflect the piping. Spring supports must be used throughout the length of the upper horizontal leg where bending occurs. Beyond that point, sliding supports may be used. As in the previous cases, the anchors at the ends of the piping system are intermediate anchors only. In this case, all deflection is absorbed by the expansion joints and negligible pipe bending loads will be imposed upon these anchors. Where the distance between the anchor at the left and the first hinged expansion joint C is large, a pipe guide should be installed adjacent to the expansion joint as shown in this animation. This pipe guide will minimize bending of the pipe section between expansion joint C and the left hand anchor which might otherwise result from the movement required to rotate the expansion joint. One or more of the additional guides may be used to maintain the plane of the piping system and relieve the hinges of bending forces which may be created by external loads. Support of the piping system may be accomplished in various ways, utilizing available supporting structures with greatest efficiency. It is essential that spring supports be used to permit free movement of the piping between expansion joints. This animation illustrates the principle that systems of hinged expansion joints may be used in other than 90 degree bends. Only intermediate anchors and planter guides are required. Among the major advantages of hinged expansion joints are their compact size, which facilitates installation, and the great rigidity and strength which can be incorporated into the hinge structures. By the use of these individual units, it is frequently possible to compensate for the thermal expansion of irregular and complex piping configurations, which might preclude the use of other types of expansion joints. Because of the ability of the hinge structure to transmit loads, piping systems containing hinged expansion joints impose minimum forces on the pipe anchors. Such systems may be supported at virtually any point which does not interfere with the free movement of the system. A hinged expansion joint system may be used effectively in applications involving movement other than the pure thermal growth of piping. This animation illustrates an application combining the thermal expansion of a piping system with the single plane movements of a piece of connected equipment. So long as all movements are restricted to a single plane, the behavior of the expansion joint system is quite similar to that of the system shown in the dual or universal lateral expansion joint animation. An intermediate anchor is required at one end of the piping while the equipment serves as an intermediate anchor at the opposite end. The displacements of the equipment are added to those of the piping to evaluate the movements of the expansion joints. 
planar guide clearances in the plane of the piping must be adequate to allow for the equipment movement as well as the piping rotations.